Hello and welcome back to the Codashop channel, where we simplify Odoo for you. In today's video, we're diving into two important features in Odoo accounting, payment terms and terms and conditions. Setting this up properly helps make sure your invoices are clear, your customers know what to expect, and most importantly, you get paid on time. Let's begin with terms and conditions. These are the legal or business policies that appear on your sales orders, invoices, and quotations. They are not about how or when the customer should pay. Instead, they cover important details like your return or refund policy, warranties or disclaimers, or any other key information the customer should be aware of before finalizing the deal. To set them up, open the accounting app, go to settings, and scroll down to the checkbox called Default Terms and Conditions. Here you'll see two options. First, you can enter a short message that will automatically appear at the bottom of your invoices, quotations, and sales orders. For example, goods sold are non-refundable, please inspect your items upon delivery. Or if you have a more detailed policy, you can choose add a link to a web page. This allows you to point customers to a page on your website where they can read the full terms. It keeps the documents clean while still covering all the legal details. So now let's go with a simple message and click Save. Once saved, these terms will appear by default on all your outgoing documents. But don't worry, you can always edit or replace them manually, if needed for a specific customer or order. Now let's move on to payment terms which define how and when your customers are expected to pay. With payment terms, you can set clear payment deadlines, split payments into multiple installments, or even offer early payment discounts to encourage faster payments. When you open the payment terms section under configuration payment terms, you'll see several pre-configured ones, like immediate payment 15 or 30 days after the invoice date, or end of the following month, these built-in examples are great references, especially when you want to create more advanced terms with multiple due dates or incentives. Let's go ahead and create a new one together. Click New, and let's give it a name. We'll call it 50% upfront, 50% in 15 days. Now we'll define the payment rules. First, add a line for 50% of the invoice amount, due zero days after the invoice date. This means it's due immediately. Then add a second line for the remaining 50%, due 15 days after the invoice date. From the drop-down menu, you can also choose other timing options, depending on how flexible you want to be. On the right-hand side, Auto gives you a real-time preview. You can adjust the sample invoice date to see exactly how the due dates will be calculated. It's a great way to double check your setup before saving. Right above the due terms, you can enter a written explanation that your customer will see on the invoice. For example, 50% of the invoice total is due immediately, the remaining 50% is due 15 days after the invoice date. Now, if you'd like to offer an early payment discount, for example, 2% off if paid within three days, you can enable that by ticking the early discount box and entering the details. But for now, let's keep things simple. Once your payment terms are saved, you can start using them in a few different places. You can add them to a customer's contact, so they're applied by default to all that customer's future orders and invoices. Or set them manually on individual quotations, sales orders, or invoices, depending on your needs. Let's walk through a quick example. We'll create a new customer invoice for Deco Addict, add a couple of products, and this time instead of using the default payment terms, we select our new custom one 50% upfront, 50% in 15 days. Just below, you'll also see our previously configured terms and conditions. And yes, you can still edit or replace them directly on this invoice if needed. Now let's go ahead and confirm the invoice. And then click Preview to see exactly what the customer will receive. You'll notice the payment schedule with the amounts and due dates clearly outlined, and of course your terms and conditions, displayed right at the bottom. 
And that's it. Now you know how to set up terms and conditions and payment terms in Order 18 accounting. These simple tools can make a big difference. They help your business stay professional, avoid misunderstandings, and get paid on time. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with more step-by-step -step audio tutorials right here on the Codeshop channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.